It's a good man, a hardworking man, somebody that is loyal to you, somebody that makes you feel safe. I don't, I don't see a problem with helping your partner out. I don't mind building. However, <laughs> over here, we talked about like giving men more grace. It's get helping them, helping them, helping them, helping them. A lot of the times these women have helped. They poured a lot into a man, okay? We have poured ourselves into relationships. We have tried to build up men, and afterwards we've gotten nothing in return, which then builds resentment to those men. Uh -huh. And why I say that being independent isn't a bad thing is because some of us have been let down so many times. Some of us have allowed a man to lead, and he's, he's led us to hell. So, that, so now there is, no, there is no other way to be but independent. Now, can I be interdependent in a relationship? Yes. Can I love you still? Can I build up my king? Absolutely. Absolutely. But do I have my own? Do I stand on my own square? And does that intimidate some some insecurities that don't have anything to, to uh, show for themselves that what they do is break you down? Absolutely. Hold so on. we're not going to act like those men don't exist. Why do some men expect women to hold them down and ride or die for them only for them to go be with the next woman? Like these men love talking about wanting a woman to be there through thick and thin and how women only want men at the finish line but aren't willing to be there for him during the process. And my question is, have these men not been paying attention? Women have been doing this for decades and we know how it ends. So because we now know better, now we do better. What are your thoughts on building a man? Share it with me in the comments below. I'll be killing me with this if he ain't got it. I'm going to help him get it mentality. Sis, he's 35. If he don't got it by now, he don't want it. Be leery of men who are always talking about how they're looking for a good, strong woman to build with. Because for me, that's code for I haven't figured out how to do this on my own and I need help. Some men attach themselves to ambitious, high achieving women because they want to learn from you. Like they want you to be their mentor. At 35 years old, there are certain things that should already be built. The fact that some of these men don't even try to get their lives together in advance. Like, sir, if you say you want to be married one day and have a family, why haven't you been building toward that? Why haven't you gotten your career to a certain place? Get your own place, got your own car, made a certain amount of money, got a retirement plan in place. Like, why haven't you started building? Why are you waiting to meet some woman to help build you up? And the sad part is there are some women that don't treat their man like a partner, but like a project and you want to fix them up. You think if you get a fixer upper, when the value increases, you'll be right there to, to benefit. But usually when they actually start living the life, they don't even want you anymore. They want the women that their new, the new version of them can afford with your work, with you helping them with their resume and you helping them get a good job and you helping build their credit score up, helping them get a good place and all that. Once you've done all the work to make this man into what you want him to be, he's going to find a new caliber of woman that he now feels that he qualifies for. They'll sit right there and let you pour everything you have into them, let you make him into the perfect man for another woman. I know some women think that if you're showing this man how loyal you can be, how many sacrifices you can make for him, that that's going to get you any loyalty. But oftentimes it doesn't. They end up resenting you. They resent you for being there and watching them struggle. Like they're angry about the fact that you're the one who had to pay the bills. You're the one whose car he's driving. You're the one who's paying the rent. You're the one whose name is on the lease. They resent the fact that they couldn't be the kind of man that they wanted to be for you. So when they get on their feet, they don't want to do it for you because there's all this pent up resentment that they have for you. They want to do it with a brand new woman. They get to be the kind of man that they wanted to be for you, but couldn't. You don't buy yourself any loyalty when you do this much sacrificing for a man. Almost every time you get burned. Yes, there are rarities. There is always going to be an anomaly about like a man who actually did reward the girl that he, uh, that helped him and held him down when he had a little bit. But it's too big of a risk to do that. And most men with any kind of pride, any kind of provider, they won't feel comfortable taken from you. They won't feel comfortable with you paying all the bills and taking care of them. It's only the kind of men that have no pride at all who will let you do all of that for them. Because some men, they look at themselves as less of a man if they ever had to take a dime from you. Didn't I tell y'all to never help a man when he down because all he gonna do is resent you for it later on? Um, if you didn't watch that whole video, go back and watch it because... My sis was speaking some straight facts. But anyways, I came on here to say something along the lines of like the whole Kiki and her boyfriend situation. But like, 
once you one accept right like you get into a situation with a man who may be um you know not as financially stable as you or like you said like you have to build him up or he's not you know where you or where he would like to be in his life once you accept that like oh, okay i know he don't have a car and he don't he don't have a job right now and money is tight and da, 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 right once you accept that um and then once you start building him up, once you start helping him, um, men put you in a different category. They, they put you they put you in a different category. And then because you're in a separate category, they start treating you differently. Men never pick the woman that did so much for them. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you didn't build this man up, help him with his resume, help him get a job, help him build a business, help him flip his money, help him when he didn't have no credit, help him raise his, ch his children on some you wasn't nobody before I met you type of thing, thinking that you're going to get a return on your investment or somehow this man's going to be indebted to you and do right by you because you helped him with all his... He's not, okay? This is the same man that will go and find a woman who's not doing half of the things that you're doing and give her the sun, the moon, and the stars because she makes him feel like a man. It, it's just it's just what it is. He didn't ask you to do all of that. And do you think he want to look at you and think like, oh, this woman helped me build my life? He's not your child, right? It, it just never works out like that. So do me a favor and save your time, your money, okay? And all of your energy because it just never rolls around like that, baby. Either he's going to be like, thank you, peace out. Or he's going to be like, I didn't ask you to do all of that. I didn't ask you to do all of that. It is going to be a conflict of interest. So, 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 so you choose. Who's to say once he get his act together, he going to choose you. You the girl he got when he ain't had When his life wasn't in order. When he wasn't a perfect catch. When he was a bottom of the barrel. Who's to say once he upgrades his life, he going to think you is the person that deserve his upgrade itself. You keep thinking you these men that you accepting that they worse at they best going to want you. No, you the girl that was able that he found that was able to put up with his while he was at the lowest. Watch him take all those lessons, all those upgrades, all those improvements he made while he was with you and take it to another person. Y'all keep waiting for these ifs, ands and maybes. When you can have a quality man now. Anytime somebody tell you they ain't ready, listen. Sis, if that man that's in your life had all of his ducks in a row, meaning he had money, cars, a home, stocks and bonds, great credit, bodies in shape, would he choose you? Would you be the woman of his dreams? When he's at his best. If the answer is no. My question to you is this. Why are you building this man up. For the next woman. In 2024 sis. Build a man season is through. This is a PSA for all you single ladies out there. Stop fostering men to get them ready for their forever home. Okay. You're not his mama. You're not here to make him a better man. He either is or he isn't. And if he isn't, a bye bye That's it. Invest in a man and you help build a man, it's harder for the man to just take off and leave. Says the man who cheated on his ex-wife with his current wife. Says the man who used and abused his ex-wife when he was broke and didn't have a pot to piss in. She held him down. Whole time he was cheating on his ex-wife with his current wife. So right now his current wife, who was his former mistress, didn't have to lift a finger to help him build shit. His current wife slid in right in time as his career was skyrocketing and his pockets were fattening. His current wife is enjoying the fruits of his labor. He dogged the f out of his ex-wife, the woman that helped him when he had no money in his pockets. This advice he's giving to women is purely hypocritical of him. I digress. You should not date a man that is watching you struggle and not adding no value to your life. Because believe it or not, you're sitting there thinking you're building him up to be the man that you want. But the moment you build him up, he's gonna take all that effort and energy you put into him and go be a man for another woman. 
See, a lot of women are scared of being alone. This is why it's important to really heal yourself and become the best version of yourself because when you are the best version of yourself, you're not scared to be alone and you're not going to settle for less. And of course, you're going to have to pick your baggage according to your size because there's no man that's perfect. And although we know that there is no perfect man, that doesn't mean you should settle for the nightmare. Brother just married a woman he's only known for seven months. Congratulations to my brother and I love him, right? But this is the twist. He was with a woman for 10 years. Everything she asked my brothers to do, he is doing for this woman that he has only known for seven months. Bottom line, bro, I love you if you're watching this, but I had to share it. Stop begging these men to do things you need to be done because he is not going to change for you. He will never be the man you need him to be because you are not the woman that he wants to be with. People change for who they want to change for. Stop preaching and start waiting patiently for your husband. Ladies, a man knows where he wants to be and who he wants to be with. There's nothing that you can do to make him stay. But if a man is dragging you along for decades with a song and a dance or why he can't commit to you fully and make an honest woman out of you, choose yourself. Sis, cousin, homegirl, colleague, client, TikTok watchers, choose yourself, sis. Know your worth. There's a man out there that will never have you waiting for years on end to be his missus. Too many women are suffering from Barbara the Builder Syndrome. Because here you think that you can fix everything in a broken man. So you have to teach him how to love you. You have to tell him that he needs to respect you. You have to let him know that his behavior is inappropriate. You have to let him know that you are an equal, how to dress, how to manage his finances, and you find yourself teaching him basic common sense stuff. Most women are fixated on the idea of a guy's potential, and they don't focus on who the person really is at the core. So what happens is that these guys turn around to resent women who are trying to mold them into something that they are just not, and they end up being that man for another woman instead. What is my opinion on holding a man down? And what I mean by holding a man down is if he ever go to jail, putting money on his books and being 100% loyal to him, or taking care of a man mentally, physically, and financially if he ever go flare broke. The only time that you should be holding a man down when he go to jail is if he wasn't embarrassing you, cheating on you, disrespecting or abusing you while he was out. By all means, hold him down. And the only time that you should be holding a man down if he go flat broke is if when he was up, he made sure you were straight and that you ain't need for nothing. It's important nowadays that we reciprocate energy because I know a lot of women who've held, held men down and a lot of men get back up and they forget who they was down with. Or they get out and start cheating and disrespecting a woman who was deaf in them the entire time. Why would you hold a man down doing his worst if he gave you hell doing yours? Stay safe, ladies. One of women's biggest fears is building a man for another woman. Helping him on his way to success. And once he reaches the top, he leaves you for someone else that didn't put any effort. And here's the major factor that you should consider when dating a man for his potential. Does he always talk about the things he wants to create? Or does he usually speak about the places he wants to get to? If he's always obsessed with getting to the moon, then he doesn't care about who waits for him there. But if he's passionate about building a great rocket, then he will want to keep his best co-pilot by his side. How is the business currently structured between the two of you? As far as? Is it owned by both of you together? No. It's 2024 and I'm gonna need for women to stop falling for the okie doke of the family business. The family business where you do the majority of the work yet you have no ownership. If your name is not on the business, you don't have one. You know what they call a person who does a bunch of work for a business yet does not have any ownership? An employee. Now how sexy does that sound? Your man has essentially hired you as an employee in his business because he's the one who has ownership, you don't. So stop falling for the imaginary our, we, us, 
and put your name on it, sis. If your name is not on it, you are not an owner. And if you're establishing the business, doing the paperwork, doing a lot of the work, keeping the books, you know, you're an essential party to the overall wellness and day-to-day -day essential tasks of the business, you should have ownership. These men know what they be doing when they be telling you that, oh, it's our business or our house, yet your name is not on any of the paperwork. They understand this. They know. And if he has an issue with putting your name on the deed or having your name on the business or on the bank accounts for that business that you are spending the majority of your time in, that's okay. Take that same talent, that same labor, your same time, your same resources, and go start or buy your own. Like I said, it's 2024, and this trick is as old as time, okay? It's one of the oldest tricks in the book. Because I promise you, without your name being on the business that you are starting with him, when it comes time to divorce or to leave, God forbid, you're going to be in a situation where he's going to claim all of the business is something that he did on his own and you're going to be left with nothing. So stop building with men. I don't believe in building with men, period. Okay. But if you have to build with them, stop building for them and build with them. Meaning your name is on the deed. Your name is on the business. All right. And when you're building him, you're also building yourself especially if you have children. I know this couple. The woman was there for him when he had nothing and he was doing odd jobs and he was doing some certifications and once he had finished the course and he had gotten the new job, he left her for another woman and helped to raise that other woman's child while barely paying attention to the child he had with the first woman. So I understand when women say they'd rather meet a man at the finish line and I would never judge a woman for that because I have seen time and time again how these stories end. The woman is the ride or die. She does everything for him. She builds him up. She gives him money. She lets him stay at her place. She lets him drive her car. And when he gets on his feet, he gives everything to his dream girl. And women no longer want to find themselves in situations like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.